Now today I thought I'd show you the waypoint. Now it's, this one's only going to be a simple one because I think if you go straight in the waypoints and use the points of interest and all the other settings that you've got to do because it's so there's so much in there guys I think you need to break into it slowly. If you haven't been using Litchi at all don't even try waypoints because it I think the whole idea of Litchi is the waypoints. It's so technical uh, and there's so many things that you can do far more than you could do with DJI app. Uh, I mean, the other thing is what's amazing about this type of app, especially for waypoints, you can sit behind your computer and do it from the home. So you haven't even got to bother about coming out now uh, and sending it all up, having the drone on so you can see where you want to do the waypoints. You can do all this at home, but that's going to be in another video. And also, I'm only going to show you the waypoints. Now, you can do points of interest. Now, what the points of interest mean is there's some buildings there, and I could put some points, points of interest on there. And what it is, as a drone's going around on its waypoints, it can turn in, it can turn off the video, take a photograph, turn the back of the video. It's, it's just, I can keep saying it's amazing what it can do. But I think today, we'll just stick with the waypoints. Uh, and then we'll go progress on to doing the waypoints and the in, uh, points of interest. And also then we'll go into doing that from home, which is even better. But today we're just doing the simple waypoints with the Litchi drone. Now today I've got my RCN1 and I've got my good old faithful DJI Mini 2. So should we get on with it? The first thing you got to do guys is turn on the controller turn on the drone uh, and with the mini 2 <laughs> it's hit and miss right I just heard it click in then right we haven't we haven't got to worry too much about the drone we're not going to send the drone up or anything we're keeping the drone there and we're just going to be on our um on our screen right and what it will do, as I keep saying before, if you watch the other uh, Litchi series of videos, is what usually happens as soon as you turn on the controller, it will go straight into the DJI Fly app. Don't worry about that. You can default it, but I don't. And you just go into your Litchi app. Okay, it's already in there now. The home point has been set. Please check it on the map. What we're going to need to do is go on to the FPV top left hand corner, click on that, you go straight into waypoints, and now what it's doing now, it's we've gone on to the map. Don't worry about what the drone can see, we've gone on the map. Now if I wanted to, I can make that smaller, um, or I can make that bigger. So, what it is, it's showing me roughly whereabouts I am. Now it's actually, I'm not over that side. I'm actually on the car park side, but it just gives you an idea. So the home point's going to come out just there. And the blue dot, if you know, is me. So what we want to do, we want to set up um, the waypoint, the first waypoint mission. And what we do, we just tap the screen. Okay, so what, it, what you've got to be careful of, guys, <laughs> if you tap it too much, you've got to get two... Uh, waypoints come up on the same thing which I've just done there um, so I'll, I'll just remove that one um, and I think what I can do if I press clear the map okay because that's what I mean it's so delicate so what we're going to do I'm just going to turn I'm just going to send the drone out I'm not going to make it too complicated as well All right so we're going to put the first point there. And what it is, it's already done one home point. Now, if we click on that home point, altitude, 98 feet. That's about right. We want to be nice and high because just over there is some pylons. And this is another thing you've got to remember about knowing your area. And this is why I think it's better to go out and do it from the location you are at. And then maybe at another time, you can do all this at home. So we just, that's, that's fine. Um, we're not going to worry too much about the curve at the moment. Heading, 
Um, now with the heading, guys, if you notice, it's so hard to see. If I move that, the drone will move with it. Right, rotation. We're going to go clockwise. Right, there's no point of interest. We're not doing no photograph. You know, not doing no point of interest today. We're just doing the waypoint mission itself. Gimbal pitch. Um, we're just going to be disabled because we don't need to worry about the point of interest. Um, we could do photo capture if we want. We're not going to go into that today. So that 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 one's done. So now we just move that screen about. Um, and what I want to do next is a building just up here. Right, so I'm going to go another waypoint. So you can see already, it's already planning its route. Now I'm going to bring that um, to there. So I've got three waypoints. And then I want to come right over here. So that's the fourth one. And then we go there. So I've got five waypoints. And then it's going to come back to, to the home point. So what I want to do now is go into settings. Now, I'm going to keep it on custom. Now apparently if I did um, if I did do points of interest, you'd have to do it on custom anyway, so it's already highlighted. Now I'm gonna put uh, return to home. You could I can do back to back to number one. I think I'll do it back to number one, so it's gonna be out there. You could even do it reverse as well if you wanted to, but we're not gonna do that. Um, straight lines, I'm not going to go into curves and that, with to be in another video because I just want to keep this simple guys. Uh, the speed, we'll just bring that speed down a little bit. Um, so if anything did go wrong, we can obviously cancel this if you wanted to. Four miles per hour is, is fine. Uh, the maximum speed is 4.5 which is fine. We're not going to worry about the photographs on this video. Um, Default curve, um, seventy-five percent. That's fine. The gimbal. Now, when it's flying, well, you can mess about the gimbal, so don't worry too much about that for the moment. Uh, rotation, direction, managed. We'll put manual. Um, so that's all been done. So virtually, that's it. So the next thing we want to do is lock that so that's locked so if i touch that screen again i'm not going to put up an extra waypoint or something like that um it's done so the next thing we want to do is get that drone off the ground okay so what i've done now i've sent the drone up in the air now all you've got to do guys is push the two sticks in on your joystick that will start the motors up and then you just on your left stick just raise the drone so I've got it out in this position now. Now if you notice on the left bottom there, you've got like the start. So we just click on that. And then we just say, it says start mission. So we press the start mission. And what it will do, I've got it on video there. It's already, it's going into its first position. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's just going to its first point of interest, which is number one. And then um, obviously all, always guys keep an eye on your drone. Because if I wanted to, if I just press that red square there, that will cancel it. So the drone's going off on its mission now. And it, as always, you can see the home points there. It's got to number two. It's going over to number three. And don't forget it's going like four miles per hour. Um, and then it's going to go from there. You can't see it, but it's gone on a, a bit of a fly now. And it's going to go right over that direction there. There's some, there's some buildings over there. I can just, I can see it now. It's right there. Um, we've got a nice height, so it's not going to be um, 
effect and nothing. So it's going over there now. Now if I wanted to, I can bring that gimbal down myself. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So I've just brought that down myself. I'm still keeping an eye on, on the screen. I've got 35% on that, which is good. It's just coming to its fourth um, mission. I've got 34% battery power. So that's another thing you've got to keep an eye on as well, guys. Like I said, you can stop this at any time if I wanted to. Oh, I tap in that um, red square there. So now it's, um, it's sort of facing the other way now. And I can just drop that down a little bit more for you so you can see what, what I'm looking at. And like I said, it's just a simple way. I think what it is, it's getting you um, accustomed to the settings and that. So next time you do it, you can probably experiment a little bit more with the curves, with the turning, the direction. Now it's coming back now to its um, home point. It's, it's completed, it's called, what, it, what it's doing now, it's actually going back to number one position. That's it, it's finished. I'll turn off the uh, recording the stopped. Footage. What I will do now is come out of waypoints. We've got to do come out of waypoints is just tap waypoints, FBV. So it's canceled that. We're back onto uh, the screen now uh, and I can bring it back in. And it's as simple as that. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bring the drone in and we have a quick chat at the end and uh, just to finish off, okay? So it's all finished. I've turned off the drone and I've turned off the controller. And for all those people, ooh, you're flying near a load of people, the drone's well away from people. I brought it down in a safe position because um, you always get some people. Um, anyway, so that hopefully has given you an idea how waypoints work. Now, there's loads of videos out there, guys, about how to use waypoints, but I think sometimes throwing you straight in the deep end, showing you how to do uh, the points of interest, because that's the main point of the waypoint mission, really. As a, as a drone's flying around, especially when we got to that building, we would have made probably that building as a point of interest, and the, we can make the, the drone turn, we can make it turn the other way, we can curve it when we're going from one point to the other, uh, and we can turn on the video, we can turn off the video, we can put a photograph. Uh, we could maybe even drop the drone down a bit to get a closer look at it. There's so many options you can do, but I think throwing you straight into it, it just too, I think it takes too much uh, to, to take in. Uh, that's what I mean, it's such a complicated um, practice really, the, the waypoints. And I think really, end of the day, that's what Litchi app's all about, is about the waypoints, because you can do so many things. Uh, and we've just scratched, we haven't even scratched any of it yet. So in another video, I'll be showing you the waypoints again, but this time I'll add the points of interest. And then what we will do then, the comfort of our own home, we can actually do it on screen, on the computer screen I'm on about, on the map. You can save that mission. You can add it to your, because you ask us where you've got to have your account, guys. Uh, you can send it to your account, which will be on your Litchi app then. And when you get out there, you just open up that mission and it just does it. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is what I love about the Litchi app with the waypoints. But anyway, as always, if you thought it was interesting, get the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, get the thumbs down. And yeah, I'll catch you on another video. And what a fantastic day it is. Thank you.